everyone. Welcome to the Museum of Northern History's first Fun Artifact Friday of the summer. Uh, since we have to continue to stay apart and stay safe to stop the spread of COVID-19 this year, uh, we are prepared to continue to bring you uh, the best and most interesting artifacts in our collection through the screen. So you don't even have to leave the comfort of your own home to see the best of our collection. We are bringing the artifacts straight to you. To start us off this year, uh, in commemoration of National Cheese Day today, I have with me these Craft Canada cheese boxes. Now these boxes were donated to the museum in the 1980s, but they would have been used in the 1950s. Uh, as you can see from the label on the side of the box, they come from Outremont, Quebec, which is a residential borough in the city of Montreal. Craft Canada has actually been operating out of Montreal since the early 1900s, and over 700 varieties of cheese uh, were produced in Quebec in 2013. And if you're eating Kraft dinner today, it probably came from the same place. Uh, now, due to an outcry of concerns over the quality of dairy products, in 1926, the city of Montreal passed a compulsory pasteurization policy. That explains why the word pasteurized can be read on the labels of the box. Uh, interestingly, it was actually the man who gave the company its namesake, J.L. Kraft, who uh, patented this method of creating pasteurized cheese. And here's a neat little bit of local history for you relating to pasteurization. Um, did you know it was actually a 1930s outbreak of septic throat in Kirkland Lake, which prompted the provincial legislature to pass a mandatory pasteurization law for milk in Ontario? That's right, uh, local history and dairies are connected as well. Um, after a merger of Kraft Canada and Heinz Canada, a company which you may know from your favorite ketchup bottle label, um, the Kraft Heinz company actually became uh, the fifth biggest company uh, producing food and beverages in the world. Um, that makes these boxes a especially unique addition to our collection because they are connected to local history and the history of one of the biggest Canadian companies. Thank you for tuning in on this Fun Artifact Friday. Make sure you continue tuning in every Friday this summer for your weekly dose of history.